up, guys? TW Booty Hunter here with another video and with another YouTube props. Yep, and this time we are doing a YouTube props on fate. Fight all thy enemies. This is honestly someone whose content I've reacted to before uh, and stuff like that. But honestly, since then, I've watched some of his content. He was... Honestly, how I discovered him is that he was recommended, uh, one of the recommended channels that kind of like when you go, when content creators kind of go in the analytics, they see other content creators uh, that make similar content to them or, you know, I, I guess that there's some sort of like in a sort of way or whatever. Um, and one of those people just happened to be Fate. Uh, and yeah, ever since I went on, watched some of his content, I actually liked what he was talking about. Um, and he kind of echoed mo literally the same sentiments that I have about Mortal Kombat and the state of it and just how it's just been completely ruined and how NRS just, just not willing to even remotely try to be creative on this game. They're phoning it in. And yeah, that's really just what it is. But also, I have another video on, you know, someone that Fate has come across that I'm also going to be doing a video on also today as well. Because you're going to get double uploads today. It's going to be a double upload day, just like yesterday was. So yeah, there's this video and then another video that I'm going to be doing about... Foxy Grandpa, and possibly some other people that are part of the competitive scene on, well, not even just Mortal Kombat, but in fighting games in general. So, yeah, tune into that if you're interested. But, yeah, Fate, this guy makes some really good content, mostly talks about fighting games and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been watching his content for a little bit now, and I've pretty much been tuned in to most things that he's done. So, all right, some of... So let's actually, so, okay, and, and mo really his most popular content, see, this is why I really do not get um, how people can even remotely, like, even remotely say that all, like, that he basically just gets views and gets subscribers off of pure hatred and pure toxicity. Clearly, that's not the case. Because I'm looking at his content here where he's talking about Mortal Kombat and he's doing reviews like games on Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, Tekken. You know, those are some of his most popular vids, even instructional videos on how to set up a controller uh, with the first three Mortal Kombats for GOG um, and how to mod PC versions of Mortal Kombat 9. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's his most popular content and stuff like that. Even the this is one of the biggest deals that people made uh, a video of the biggest deal that people made. Uh, but uh, like how he told uh, called Tanya uh, Fugly uh, from Mortal, on Mortal Kombat One. That video is nowhere near as popular as any of these videos. But yet people say that he's toxic. People he just gets ahead off uh positive i'm um, not positive but negativity and all that stuff clearly that's bullshit that is clear as day bullshit uh but yeah i guess we can go ahead and watch some of his like latest videos and stuff like that um and i guess we can kind of go ahead and uh what you call it we can go ahead and watch a little bit of this latest video right here. I haven't even seen it yet. Starting fresh in the new year is easy when you shop Kroger pickup or delivery. The app. All right, skipping past that. All right. I like the sort of backgrounds that he has in his videos and stuff like that. Does, uh, does anyone want a cupcake? <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna have a now Tekken Eight is coming out uh, in less than twenty four hours. Which, mind you, I'm actually very excited for Tekken Eight. Um, I honestly, it seems like it's probably gonna be one of the best fighting games that's coming out right now. 
and yeah, I'm super excited for it. Mortal Kombat 1 was a complete dud. Street Fighter 6, I haven't played yet, but from what I've seen, it looks decent. It looks decent enough, and it actually has other content in it as well. Like, they actually kind of have their own version of Conquest mode that you can do. Um, which I'm very excited about because it pretty much seems like Mortal Kombat is never going to actually do that kind of thing again. NRS is pretty much set on never doing that sort of thing again, even though it would add for very much replayability. But I don't know. That's NRS being NRS. They can just continue to be stupid. But anyways. Um, I'm also doing a... Uh a stream uh, with a special guest later on and uh, the purpose of this video was actually a very good idea from uh, an American ninja someone I consider a, he's a good dude all right good good friend let's say good friend all right all right new but good you know new, new friendship and it's very interesting because uh, what was brought up uh, is the purpose of this video his, uh, his comment to me and that was Because Mortal Kombat 1 is devoid of anything meaningful anything great, but if you're having fun with it, that's fine That's okay. I yeah, which mind you that's another thing I kind of want to add on top of that if you like Mortal Kombat 1 do not let anything that people like me people like fate people like the jaded rabbit um, or any other content creators that are, you know, making videos about Mortal Kombat 1 being absolute dog shit, do not let that ruin your fun. Do not. Because this is just, you know, us speaking about our grievances with the game and stuff. So don't let that ruin your fun. But at the same time, do not think y'all can come at us crazy. Especially don't think y'all can come at me crazy. Because, hey, y'all comments is just going to get yeeted. If we cannot have a discussion, uh, rather you agree or rather you disagree about Mortal Kombat 1 without, you know, insults and curse words and all that shit being flown out, then, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm not even going to entertain the bullshit. I'm not. Because I'm not about to argue online with nobody about a video, especially about a video game. I'm not about to do it. That's crazy. Uh, if you like the game, like the game. That's cool. But don't get angry at other people for not liking the game because it's their right to not like the game. Just be, just like it's your right to like the game. Yeah, that's basically just what that is. But anyways. It will never tell you not to buy the game. Ever. In fact, at the end of the day, whatever you decide to spend your money on and enjoy is the only thing that matters. Don't worry about whether I'm hating on the game. Don't exactly. worry about anything like that. Always, when it comes to that sort of thing, go, yep, listen. I know this guy hates it, but I don't hate anyone for playing the game. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anyone is a shill for playing the game. In fact, you can do whatever you want. It's when people start to become disingenuous, ignore issues that are going on. Mm -hmm. That's what And see, that's... I'm glad he said that. Because that's the biggest thing about, you know, us calling people shields. You know, like like when people like me, Jaded Rabbit and Fate or whatever, when we're calling people shills and we're calling out, you know, these shills and stuff like that, it's not so much the fact that they're getting special treatment, even though, yes, that is a part of it, but that's not really the reason why. The reason is they're, di yeah, like he said, they're being disingenuous about it. They're ignoring issues in the game. Uh, and basically, that yeah, it's like, and basically they're doing damage control for anybody that has any sort of critiques for the game. Like, and they're basically also gaslighting people for anyone not liking the game either, especially these only pros, which I'm going to be doing a video on right after this one talking about how these only pros like their main line of defense when it comes to defending this game is like if anyone hates it they're just not good at the game 
That's it. That that's their only that's the only thing they can think in their minds as to why someone would hate this game. Oh, you're just not good at the game. Really? Like there's not a, so there's clearly not other issues like monetization. Really? There, there's clearly not that. There's clearly not issues with an incredibly vapid story. There, there's not that too. Oh my god. It's such bullshit. It's such disingenuous bullshit. And that's what he's talking about. You cannot just try to blindly wave away people's criticisms by saying, oh, they just don't like it because they're bad at the game. That is such a bullshit way to handle things. And frankly, immature way to handle things, too. Like, you seem like a child when you just completely wave away all the criticisms like that. When their integrity comes into question. People that have known me long enough know that this is the way I am. If you go through my channel content, you know this is the way I've always been, including people that have known me for the very longest of times know that. But the reality is, though, is that it seems, though, that because the game has no content, I have become the content. Clearly. Because I am just someone tiny on the internet. Uh, a no-name bald dude in Australia talking about a game that I have, or a franchise that I have loved since its inception washing mm -hmm. it or watching it wash and fall down the tubes it's very disheartening it is it, is it, and it sucks man it's very upsetting as a border because that's the thing everybody who talks about this game like negatively we want this game to be better there is no one like even like people like mike hollow he's got negative he's made negative videos on mortal kombat one what he and the rest of the other and me and the other content creators uh that i just mentioned including fate share is that we want this game to be good we want mortal kombat to be good like despite how divided we are on certain issues what we agree with what we don't disagree with the common issue is that mortal kombat 1 is a bad game and we all want it to be good but unfortunately NRS is just not NRS and Warner Brothers are just not wanting it to be good. It's like they're phoning it in, or in, at least NRS is phoning it in. Um, freaking WB is just trying to cash grab anything, any moment that they can. Mortal Kombat fan, because the strength of what made Mortal Kombat great was not the combat. Characters. Yeah, and that's the thing. People talk about the combat. It's like, oh, oh, you don't know, you don't know the mechanics. You don't know. Who gives a f about the mechanics? No one cares about the mechanics. No one cares about up lock. It's like, genuinely, people don't care. Besides the pro players, those are the only people that care about that stuff. And how many combos you learn from front to back, side to side, with your eyes closed, with one eye open. Like, it doesn't freaking matter, dude. What matters is the genuine enjoyment of the game. What matters is, like, you know, the, the characters being memorable. What matters is the story being good. And what matters most of all, really the most important, is that people are having fun. And there's a good bit of people that are not having fun with this game. Seriously. Rather you're in it for the story or rather you're not people are still not having fun with this game like on either side of the equation there's probably some people that are but for for the most part what i've mostly seen is people are not having fun with the game like at all and they're going to other franchises like tekken like a killer instinct like street fighter like dead or alive like soul Calibur. and who the hell can blame them yeah, you know, I've been doing the same. Matter of fact, I've honestly even gone back and just played some of the older Mortal Kombat titles as well as those other franchises I just mentioned. It's like, because Mortal Kombat is just so committed to being mediocre. And you can blame NRS and WB for that. It was the story. It was the world. WB for being so money hungry and, and Ed Boon and the rest of NRS for completely phoning it in and wanting to push their politics in it. Building around it. Even back in the original, just simply in the design, 
and the creation of what we were doing with the oh yeah and for anyone that thinks that i'm just blindly agreeing with they like uh, like i'm just a fake fanboy first off i haven't been watching the dude's content for that long i recently started watching his content um and then on top of that I don't one thing that I don't agree on uh, that. Yeah. One thing I don't agree on with fate is definitely like he loves the original Mortal Kombat, like the original first three, you know, the original trilogy and stuff like that. I hate the original trilogy gameplay wise, story wise. I love it. And that's what makes it so disheartening as to why uh, I don't like the first three Mortal Kombat games. I made a video about that and how I thought in Mortal Kombat 9 and stuff like that. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But, yeah, it's really disheartening that I can't like that. Yeah, I just don't find myself ever liking Mortal Kombat, uh, the original Mortal Kombat trilogy, because I love the story of those games, but the gameplay is just so fucking... It just does not age well for me, but that's just for me personally. Uh, yeah. And the characters on screen, it was the world building. That's what made Mortal Kombat great for me. Not the hyper focus on the combos. So because I think around the 3D era is when they started focusing on combos. And honest to God, I like, in a sense, I like that. I like that the combos were easier. I didn't. I wasn't so fascinated with the combos, but I liked that the combos were much easier to learn compared to uh, the first four games. So I'm your content for some of these people. Clearly, but clear the as day. The good news is, I don't need you. Because that's the thing about these people. It's like. If you like Mortal Kombat 1 so much, why don't you make videos on how great Mortal Kombat 1 is and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. But instead, you have to do damage control and you have to get on fate and you have to push these freaking accusations about him like, oh, he's toxic. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's just like whatever. Like if you think Mortal Kombat, if you think there's nothing wrong with Mortal Kombat 1, that's fine. Why are you not making videos on how great, on how, you know, the hate for this game is stupid or why you like this game? Why are you not talking about the positive aspects of it if you like the game so much? Like, honestly, uh, that's that's what I'm talking about with, you know, these people that try to make content out of fate and say, oh, you're just a negative Nancy and all that stuff. I think that's such bullshit. It really is. And I'm not talking about... And the guy doesn't deserve that, too, because I'm like... And that's another thing that I don't agree with Fade on. He does debates with these only pros. I don't know how the hell he can show these people so much respect when they treat him like dog shit in these fucking debates. Like, literally. They are so... Con they come into this guy channel, you know, to debate him and stuff, and they're so fucking condescending, so rude, in fate's just right there answering all the questions that they have but they're not listening to it and it's like they're waiting for their chance to talk and they're all snarky about the responses it's just ugh, I, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth i don't know how fate can just even sit there and want to even have a conversation with these guys show these people any kind of respect platform these people in any way He's a better man than me because I, I don't know how the hell he could do it. I damn sure wouldn't do it. I would not entertain a buffoonery. It would take me everything in my power to not want to cuss these assholes out for the way that they act towards this guy. It's ridiculous. But yet, these are the same people that talk about this guy, Fate, being such a toxic person in the fighting game community. Really. But the way you come on this guy's streams and act towards him, like what <laughs> it, i i don't get it man that's that's kind of insane it's the biggest form of irony i've ever seen the regular viewer here what i'm talking about i'm talking about the people out there that love their cupcakes that love their queef sets the queef sets no i i 
I never needed you at all. This guy's vocabulary. <laughs> this, bro, I don't know if the guy. This guy's lingo that he brings up is wild. Like, <laughs> the fuck the cupcakes like and queefs. That, <laughs> you, I don't want to know. That people are one trick ponies. At least some of them. The one trick ponies out there that are incapable. Incapable. Dude, and that's another thing I want to bring up. A lot of these people are also making a big deal that he calls ketchup and mustard the condiment twins. Ketchup and mustard are fucking condiments. And they're called ketchup and mustard. The condiment twins. How the hell is that an insult? It's not like he's calling them the condiment butt fuckers. It's not like he's calling them the condiment FAGs. He's calling them, calling them the condiment twins because they're condiments. In case these stupid fuckers who act like they know everything, apparently they don't know what the fuck a, the condiment is. But you know everything, right? You know everything about the up blocks and the techniques and the fucking uh, intricacies of the fucking uh, fighting game mechanics of Street Fighter and Tekken and all this type of shit. And you know the mathematics behind all these freaking combos and all that crap. But you don't know what a fucking condiment is? How do you know all that shit, but you don't know what a condiment is? Apparently, a condiment's an insult to you. Really? Then you don't know what a condiment is. You know all this fighting game logic and lingo and all that stuff and the intricacies of these uh, combos, but you don't know what a condiment is? Really? Fucking A, Bubba. Y'all do... <laughs> man, maybe y'all need to go to school, man. Yeah, go into Sylvan Learning or some shit, man. Read a book. Coming up with their own ideas, their own content, to talk about different things, to uh, have discussions. There's none of that there except for what's fate doing, and that's great because it was you guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean it gets your views, man. I don't, hey, I don't blame you. I, I don't. I'm like, hey, hey, if it, if anything, I'd be a little bit the same way. I'm like, hey, I don't know why y'all so interested in what I'm doing, but hey, it gets me views, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that decided to prop me up even more yeah Not the other. see and that's the crazy thing if fate was just such an irrelevant toxic person then why are they going out of their way to platform him why would they do it why are they talking about him why are they even making subli even just making subliminal mess like at him People are going to put two and two together and know who the fuck you're talking about. Like, most people are going to know who you're talking about, especially based on some of the videos that Fate has made. They're going to kind of pick it up on it. Some people might even tell them, and then that's going to make them want to watch Fate's videos. Even if they're just going there to criticize, you're still giving this guy views. You're still giving this guy attention. Uh, so it's, you're really indirectly helping this guy. You know, like you idiots do realize this, right? Oh my god! Like apparently not. Like I said, you know all these intricacies about fighting games, but you don't know what a condiment is, and you lack such self awareness to like know that you're clearly just giving this guy all the freaking just content in the world, all the views in the world. You are indirectly helping this guy, idiots. Other way around. And so while you're sitting there enjoying your cupcakes and your queef sets, because that's all you've got, okay. I'm over okay. here, albeit small, having a grand old time building my channel. It doesn't matter whether it's slow, it doesn't matter whether it's fast. I love Mortal Kombat and I love fighting I do games. too. And I'm so excited for Tekken 8 coming out tomorrow. I've also... Me too, but... Honestly, you know what? With most games, I usually say I'm cautiously optimistic. Like with WWE 2K24, I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, but with Tekken 8, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That might be the only game so far that I'm not that way with. I think I'm excited for this game. Uh, I'm excited, you know, for the story, of course. Uh, I'm excited about the other the other features uh i like the way they implemented ghost mode and all that type of stuff because i did play the demo i didn't get to show it on the channel but 
um yeah i like the way that they implemented the ghost mode and kind of did something new with that uh but and then i in, i'm a little bit also excited uh to start eventually playing online too like i know i'm not normally an online player and i'm not a competitive player but i recently started um doing that mainly with tekken um uh, but yeah that's what i've been doing and i'm not gonna lie tekken playing tekken online is fun even if i'm getting my ass kicked <laughs> uh with mortal Kombat, i don't really feel that way it's, it's like oh god it, it's the complete opposite but yeah dude i i'm excited for tekken 8 nevertheless i don't know if i'm gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna be stupid enough to pre-order it i'm not doing that for me i'm not gonna do it uh i might just wait until it actually comes out and yeah i don't know if i'll get it on xbox or if i'll get it on pc uh i don't know i i guess we'll see but I'm excited. I bought, just so I get the name correct, Undernight in Birth 2, Sis Celeste. So that's another game. Uh... Hey, and y'all might even see a Tekken story mode gameplay on the channel too. I don't know exactly when. Maybe it might be when it comes out. Maybe I might wait until I've beaten the game first. I don't know. But you will see it eventually. I'm going to be talking about it as well because I do love that series. Because they're great games. I love fighting games. See... There's a lot of content to be made when it comes to fighting games that just doesn't focus around one thing, the only thing that you're good at. And that's fine. People out there. I'm gonna wait until it, content. I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit to the halfway mark to then probably. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I think. Yeah, I think we've seen enough of this video because I kind of want to get you guys introduced a little bit more to the other type of content that he makes as well. Um, we can go to his Tekken 7 review. Never hire a voiceover artist again. And no more recording and re-recording your own voice. All right. <laughs> That was weird. I thought I put it. it in full screen. There we go. We made it. Uh, I think I think I haven't <clears throat> I haven't reviewed um, the PS PSP version, Tekken Five, right? Um, Dark Resurrection. I will do it at some point. I promise. I just wanted to get like these all these main one mainline ones out, and it also means that I also have to do uh, Tekken Tag Tournament HD. Uh, that got shipped with, uh, what was it? It was, was it shipped, yeah, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, right? <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, so this is, this is Tekken 7. With only a few days to go. <clears throat> my god, my voice from yesterday. Catching up. Right. So. Now, I'll, I didn't know this actually. I was I was pretty happy with Tekken Seven in general. Just again, just because I love fighting games. But uh, Tekken Seven, um, I, I think a lot of people weren't very happy with. Like they felt. I wasn't happy with the story. I loved the gen. I, I genuinely loved the gameplay. Um, yeah, I thought it was easily some of the best gameplay that Tekken has ever had. Um, like gameplay wise, uh, especially with the rage arts and stuff like that. I really like that um i think that was a cool addition to the tekken series but the story i was not it was very vapid but yeah everything else was cool like there wasn't much to it or something not a lot of content i don't know um maybe you guys can let me know in the chat what the very big roster too i freaking hate akuma on this game though with, uh... sometimes i'm cool with other characters from other fighting games uh, when other characters from other fighting games are usually on, like, you know, fighting games and stuff like uh, uh, stuff like that, I genuinely find it cool. Like, uh, when, what the fuck is his name? Not Akira, but something. It's the other main character from Virtual Fighter. When he was on, I think, Dead or Alive, I found that to be pretty cool. When Link was on Soul Calibur 2, that was cool. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a real cool thing. 
But yeah, so that's usually pretty cool when other characters from other uh, fighting games or sometimes other series get on these games and stuff like that as guest characters. But in in the case of Tekken 7, I do not like Akuma. Um, yeah, I just don't feel like he needed to be on there. And he's also a bit of a cheap bastard. That's another reason why I don't like Akuma on this game. Tekken 7? Should have stayed in Street uh, Fighter. And we'll just go through, like, what all the roster looks like. But that's like. just me. So... And we'll just, we'll just we'll just stop there for a second, just so I can move my camera. There we go. I really hope Eliza comes back, and of course everyone's hoping Anna comes back. So, but yeah, um, there's there's Breezy's character, Lei Wulong. I like Lei Wulong, honestly. So, um, He's cool. This is a gigantic roster. This is huge. Okay, by the end of this game's life cycle, this is what we ended up with. Massive amount of characters to choose from. Great looking graphics, handles really well. Oh yeah, one one thing. I might even make a uh, top 10 Tekken characters that I don't like. Or I might make, or I don't know, maybe it might not. Because I don't think it's actually 10 characters that I don't like. I might just make like 10 characters I don't like. Or a Tekken character ranking list. Because I don't think I've done that yet. I might do that at some point, like a char Tekken character tier list. I know I've done that for Mortal Kombat. I have not done that for Tekken yet. I don't think so. That should be a fun one. Well, you see it in second game in the game, um, and I've had so much fun. It's actually the first Tekken game where I really wanted to uh, improve uh, when it came to like fighting people online and just getting better. So I main as Wa Warang, or Warang, Warang. Um, and, but, and all the characters, great, Master Ebony, great to come back to, so, like, all the, all the characters aren't even taken eight should come back, right? But, um, yeah, huge roster, just, and, and I love a big roster in a fighting game, I really, really Oh, me too. Because, see, I'm one of those people that I like to try, I like to play, I don't really have a main, everybody has a main, I don't really, I've never really had a main, uh, because I always like to try to play as every character, try to learn every character to the best of my abilities, and just try to get as good with them as I possibly can, take them to the highest level that I possibly can. Uh, and that's not me just trying to be a tryhard. That's just me genuinely loving fighting games and loving uh, to try to see what every character is like. And it's not always guaranteed that I'm going to like every character, that I'm going to be good with every character. There's characters that I suck ass with, and I accept that. But that's generally what I always like to do in fighting games. A massive legacy of characters. Like, there's no main for me necessarily in Tekken. Um, I just like to try to play in, like, as I, every character. That's the same with me in Mortal Kombat. Characters that uh, would just be so good to bring back. So, um... So yeah, so we'll jump in, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in with uh, one of the waifus, right? Of course. Everything about this game is great. Everything about this game just really sets the tone and the mood to to getting into the fight, just like the last couple of previous Tekken entries as well, which is nice. And it just looks so good. It does. Right? It even, looks even despite it like, is. The best looking Tekken game ever made. Easily. The best Tekken, the best Tekken game, best looking Tekken game ever made. I'm sorry, I should say. Best looking Tekken game. Uh, because Tekken 4 is obviously at number two, for sure. When you compare this to Tekken 8, it's night and day because they're on Unreal Engine 5 now. Oh, yeah. But even this engine looks so good. You've got a lot of things happening. Uh, in the background on this particular stage, handles just feel so beautiful. I don't think I ever got to play as Eliza. Yeah, I never played as Eliza. Oh, I, I played Tekken oh, 7, but I didn't play as all really the characters. Do. Right. Now, uh, if you if you guys are interested uh, in picking up Tekken 7, uh, which I think is is it the, the Ultimate Edition? Is that the, I think it's got to be one? fairly cheap right um, now. I already have it, but... Everything? I think it might be a bit Ultimate cheap Edition. right now since Tekken 8's coming out. Uh, also, I I love the stage transitions with 
uh, with what they do in Tekken. So whether it's the same stage, but it goes to night time, they move to a different section, it just adds variety. Like you're not just on the same stage, even if it's, you know, depending on the rounds, you're not just stuck with, oh, this is how it is for the, like, on the first yeah, round. Yeah, exactly, because it it's that, because they used to also do that with like Mortal Kombat Deception. That's what that reminds me of. Really cool, right? So, um, oh, there we go. I'm not going to lie. One thing I really like about how Fate's doing this review is that he's not really so much treating it like a regular review. He's not trying to X play it up or anything like that. He's genuinely just playing the game, showing you what it looks like, and he's giving his actual raw thoughts on it. There's no script or anything like that behind it. I like the way that Fate is doing this, like does his reviews. I like that. Um, that's actually pretty good, uh, because it's simple and, but yet it's effective. I, I kind of want to implement a little bit of something like this with my future reviews, but I don't know. I just think it's pretty good because he's not doing so much. Okay. You can do you. I'll let you do that. I'll let you feed him in. Anyway, all right. Get ready for the next battle. But genuinely, I think that's enough right there. Um, because, yeah, Fate, he does all sorts of content. Uh, it's not just talking about only pros. It's not just talking about how bad Mortal Kombat 1 is or anything like that. He does all sorts of different content. And, you know, he does reviews. He does, uh, like, tutorials, like modding tutorials, all of that type of stuff. And yeah, he yeah, he even does like live streams. Oh my god. Uh, like I won't show you the live streams because I I've already reacted to one of his live streams on the channel like what he did with Brusque Poet, but I will talk about these live streams in a sense kind of look at them and kind of like react to them a little bit. I won't do it in this video though. Uh because I'm going to do that on the next video. But uh, nevertheless, man, yeah, this is fate, man. This is fight all thy enemies. Uh, some of you who are watching probably might know who he is. Some of you probably might not. But I just wanted to kind of give you a general idea of who this content creator is, what he offers in terms of his content. Uh, rather you like him or not, rather you are going to subscribe to him or not, it's completely up to you. Uh, you're not really hurting or helping me either way by doing it. It's just this is someone that I happen to really like as a content creator, and I like his content. And, yeah, because here's the thing. Me and Fate, I don't think we're friends or anything because like, we don't really – we're, we're kind of like acquaintances. You know, he was on the comments on a couple of my videos, but past that, it, we don't really ex we don't really interact you know, in a way like that. So for anyone that's thinking it's a conflict of interest, no, we don't really interact in any way like that. This is just a content creator that I recently started watching and that I think his content is dope. And I think he's getting a lot of unfair hatred from the fighting game community. Now, honestly, I'm not going to lie. At this point, he almost seems a little bit like the Vince Russo of the fighting game community. To be real with you, if we got to bring wrestling into this, he is the F he is the Vince Russo of the FGC, literally. Like that <laughs> that's honest to god what I what it seems like right now. But yeah, anyways, uh if you like this type of content, uh if you like Fate in his channel and stuff like that, let me know in the comment section down below or if you feel the opposite also, let me know in the comment section down below. We could have a discussion about it. As long as you, it's not, you guys aren't going too crazy about it. Like, you're not being dickheads to me or to anyone else watching the videos or even to fate himself. As long as you're not being general assholes about it, then it's cool. Because we don't need any of that type of bullshit. This is a YouTube props. This is me giving props to a YouTuber that I happen to think is dope. And it's like real kind of chill and positive. I kind of want to keep it that way. So if we can try to be.
be mature about it, that would be awesome. But I know this is the internet, and I know that's going to be incredibly hard for some of you. But <laughs> even still, um, nevertheless, if you like content like this, uh, as well as other videos that I do on the channel, uh, such as tier list videos, Smasher Pass videos, gameplay videos, like, you know, Let's Plays and stuff like that, reaction videos, and even YouTube's worst, which is the opposite of YouTube props, where instead of praising and giving props to YouTubers that I like, I'm actually doing the opposite to YouTubers that I don't like, which is what you're going to be getting on Friday um, when I'm going to be talking about WrestlePod. So... Yeah, if you're interested in that, check that out. But if all of that interests you, then feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to be a part of Booty Hunter family, and maybe if you want to be a part of Booty Hunter VIP family, then join for just a dollar a month to get access to custom emojis, access to videos a day or two or even a few hours before they even come out, or sometimes weeks or months ahead. Uh, as well as other features to the membership that are going to be coming at some point very, very soon down the line. Um, but yeah, don't think the buck just stops at those three features uh, that I just described. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, shout outs or yeah, shout outs or another one too. Like, for example, like a couple of VIP members right here. Xavier Riss and uh, Tiffany Stratton fan. So, yeah, shout outs like that, which names also appearing on the screen. That's a that's the third one. Custom emojis, ac early access to videos and shouts out at the end of the video. Like I said, the buck doesn't just stop at those three features. More is going to come with the membership down the line. So get ready for that. But uh, if you don't want to pay a dollar a month, that's fine, too. I'm just glad that you guys are checking out my content for free. Uh, and also, click that notification bell. If you're going to subscribe uh, for all notifications so that you never miss an upload from yours truly. And with all that being said, this has been your boy, Team Doppy Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And giving you guys another banger right after this. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for being an ass And not watching the whole video You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said Thank you for being an ass Only hearing what you wanted to And getting butt hurt Like the sensitive little bitch you are Thank you for being an ass.